I'm going to sound a bit hurtful, but they're not your friends. Uh, I'm talking specifically about the friends whom you really think are so good to spend time with. But the thing is, one, they don't even care about you. Two, they don't treat you well. And three, you don't even fit in with them. And so you're just there because you don't have anybody else to spend time with. It's almost like you don't want people to think that you're lonely. So in the end, you just try to make friends all because you just don't want to be seen as lonely. So in the end, you try to make friends with people only to realize that those friends are probably not really the kind of friends that you want to have in life, right? You can take it from a guy like me who literally got bullied and who didn't really have that great, that many great friends in the past. 2018, it was about the last year of my primary school. I happened to make friends with a couple of guys in my class. We were all pretty cool with one another until we all started playing Roblox. I mean, we were all still 12 back in the day, so of course we want to play games, right? But anyway, during those times when I played Roblox with them, I threw temper tantrums. So what do you think they did? They bullied me because I was too weak, too emotional. Because I didn't even know how to defend myself back then. Of course, I would have been bullied very easily. My friends and I, we quarreled, we argued, we literally fought each other. And afterwards, I just didn't really talk to them again after that. Up until 2019, when I enrolled in my high school, and not gonna lie to you, I actually felt really, really lonely at the start. And why is that so? Because I literally got traumatized from the shit that happened in primary school. And so of course, I was very scared to make new friends. I mean, I'm naturally a very introverted person. And so at the age of 12, do you really think I have the social skills? And yeah, I just was very scared to make new friends because... I was scared that the same thing in primary school would happen again. So after high school had just started, I was alone, didn't have that many friends, didn't have any confidence. I was just the skinny, typical Chinese guy that you see in class. Over my years in high school, there were a few specific guys I met who were like amazing friends. Even to this day, I still keep in contact with them. And as much as I'm grateful to have a wonderful band of brothers, I only wish somebody would have told me this sooner that I needed to find good friends and that's what I want to wish for you too because the journey that you experience in your life even if that's in school or in your workplace next time or whatever it's going to be rough it is going to be rough it's not going to be easy having been through like 11 years of the school education system of course it's not easy I have been in the education system ever since I was 7 now I'm currently 17 and Literally 11 years have passed already. And I can tell you right now, it's not as easy as you think. And if you're watching this right now, let me just tell you the brutal truth, bro. It's only gonna get worse before it gets better. Let me say that again. It's only gonna get worse before it gets better. Which means you're gonna struggle. You're gonna be stressed, anxious, overwhelmed, overburdened. And I'm telling you all this because it happened to me also. Like I'm trying, I'm trying my best not to sugarcoat the truth here, but it is really what happened to me. Some things you face are probably some things you might have faced are probably too much academic pressure in school, the amount of homework that you need to do every single day, the early mornings and the late dismissals, all of that, all of that just add up into like a circular ball of stress that gets hit at you every single day. And that's just the school side of things. You might have even more problems, like being unable to fit in or finding it hard to make good friends, which is probably why you're watching this video. <laughs> Because you think of these things, you force yourself to go to college parties and stuff because you don't have anybody else to spend time with. Why am I telling you this? Because I don't want you to settle for people whom you really think are your friends. But honestly, how would you define a friend? Would you consider a friend to just be a guy that you see in your class? Someone that you play video games with every single day? Somebody whom you just randomly crack jokes with in class from time to time? Or is it somebody who whom truly cares about you? Or is it somebody who treats you more like a brother? A brother who won't always tell the things that you want to hear, but that you need to hear. A brother who tells you that you need to stop chasing your crush, although she clearly doesn't like you. A brother who tells you that you need to set better standards for the girls that you like. A brother who can pull you away from your own void of loneliness and negativity. And a brother who's able to give you advice that could save you months or years of your life. Let me just picture a scenario for you. Imagine you became a degenerate. Let's just say you hooked up with girls in the club, then you would have had to experience what it's like to get cheated on by a girl because she got bored of you. Imagine you had a girlfriend 
or because you just wanted one so badly in your teenage years. And if you're unlucky, you had to experience the feeling of breakup and loneliness, or because your needs and her needs weren't being met in the relationship. So of course, your relationship with her is just eating into her life and your own life. And in the end, all those years of distracting yourself, all those years of going through pain, suffering, all of that, could have been avoided if you had good friends by your side to put some clarity in your mind to tell you that hey bro i don't think that's very good for you huh? then you wouldn't have needed to go through all of those negative experiences that i've just mentioned and i'm sorry if i made you cry by the way because i know how painful you must feel having to recall all those negative experiences that you yourself have to go through and while i most probably don't understand the amount of pain and grief that you're feeling right now because honestly, I never experienced what it's like to have a girlfriend. I'm telling you right now, man. But I just want to tell you from my own personal experience that no matter how hard life gets, your life will only get better. No. Your life will be better if you have good friends by your side. So having said all this, what do you do about your current friends? The guys whom try to seem like they care about you, but they don't. And therefore, they're not your friends. For anybody who's scared to banish their old group of friends out of the fear of being loneliness, being lonely or cast, cast, cast outside, just know this. The good friends that you want to make, they don't want to make friends with you if you're still friends with these loser guys whom you really think they are friends. But I must warn you though, the journey to making good friends, just like all things, will not be easy. It won't be easy. I mean, coming from an introvert myself, do you think it was really easy to get good friends? Nah bro, it took months, years, and from my own experience, it takes time and effort from both sides to be able to form a wonderful friendship. You can take my own story for example, I managed to meet guys in high school who were, who were very much like me, but do you really think they would become my friend if I kept drinking with other people every single night? No, of course not. It was because I had to suffer a short period of loneliness. A period of time when I was pretty much alone by myself, regardless of how sad that might be to people. But surprisingly, that was when my high school guys really wanted to become my friend. So you see, it takes time to make good friends. Don't expect it to be like such a quick process. Just wherever you are in life, just know that no matter how much you really want those good friends into your life, you need to be willing to face a period of loneliness and you will feel pain, you will feel miserable and you will definitely want to get back together with your old friends but I promise you, if you stay true to this path you will make good friends and that's what I want to wish for you too if you want to see more videos from me, consider subscribing and you can check out my latest video right here at the corner and with that said, take care and I'll see you in the next one get to socializing bro Peace.